All right, time to start a little bit early. Just making sure that I don't make the same mistake as last time. Yeah, I seem to have the stream started properly this time. So, again, I'm going to continue the terminal emulator project. And on the screen, I have a little to do list here of the remaining tasks. Yeah, I'm one minute early and because of the stream latency that translates to maybe 50 seconds early to you. In any case, here's a little to-do list of the tasks that are remaining and also, of course, what I also need to do are those keyboard controls to uh, change font size and also change the terminal dimensions. Those are the things that I probably need to do. And uh, some optimizations. Those are also on the to-do list. And they have, hello everyone. I think I forgot to say that. <coughs> and then uh, maybe also some uh, decorations. Like that little person who works in the top part of the window. Yeah, Mario. But because of copyright and trademark reasons, I just call it the person. Morgan Aste. Let me check a little quickly whether this is one of those mods that are Yoger Lilidal. Yeah, I should probably change that because that will probably produce a copyright Pro problem there. It's a nice mod, but the ch chance that it will cause copyright problems for my stream. Thursday today. No, it's well, well, maybe some for some people in Asia. So anyway, let's check a little quickly this to-do list again. I have about one hour, maybe one and a half hour of time this time, because I started late, because I had errands to do. So maybe this is something that I could do, keyboard controls to change the font size and change terminal dimensions. This could be small enough for this stream, but I also was planning to do this one. So I'll probably begin with this one. That was short mode. Keyboard controls to change the font size. Of course, I need to decide which keys to use for that. I already have these function keys bound here, like like I did in the last stream. Also, before I go forward with that, I had some idea concerning this code which could simplify it a little bit, if I can just remember what I was going to do. I think I was going to do, because of course I read the source code after I stop streaming, so I will probably do something like this. Just to make this a little bit shorter. That doesn't change how in any way how the code functions, but it will make me a little bit happier because I don't like code in repetition. I am not using any of those frameworks, I am using SDL, not native C and C++ because standard C and C++ doesn't define any way to do graphics, and I need to do graphics in order to do this terminal thing, so just to recap, here is what I have until now. I have a terminal which renders using this 8x16 DOS font and for the most part it works just right. There's a little bit of blinking, I think I may be imagining things, but a little bit of blinking when I scroll the window, but everything seems to work right, except these lines here should be underlined. If I compare this to what Xterm is printing, Maybe I'm not clear that yet. If I compare to what Xterm is 
rendering, it's actually not doing the underlined as well. Because Xterm doesn't implement that either. So that was a bad comparison. But the colors are different because Xterm does implement DIM, which I also use here. Xterm doesn't implement Italic either. Uh, yeah, bad comparison there. In any case, that font size. Will it support custom fonts in the future? It's my life is asking. Um, maybe, that's a strong maybe. I am planning to support a list, not just these DOS based fonts that I'm currently using, but also the 6x9 Xterm font that I have also used before somewhere. If I can remember where. And maybe other fonts, and maybe, maybe also this system fonts like all of this stuff. By the way, many people ask me what is the font that I am using in the X terminal right on the screen right now. So that's misc fixed misc um, misc fixed no. Okay, that was a little disappointing. Well, to get that out of the way anyway, it's here, this is the font that I am using here. For some reason this program didn't list that font, but just a quick check that my Windows is, window is actually shown in full, because that was also a problem in the last stream. What age did I start programming? What did you begin with? I began with basic and I started calculating, calculating 14 years old. Do you have an estimate time when this emulator will be released? No, I don't. Because for starters, I wasn't planning on releasing this to begin with. This is a, this is a tool for personal use, maybe. But I will plan to put it on GitHub because so many people want to read the source code. And source code, and it is easier to read the source code on the web browser than it is to read it in a, in a video, so that is something I will do. So right here, I have to decide on the font controls. So how should I do that? In that editor for the font controls, I have a menu there. You press Ctrl T, which also in brings menu in Joe, but I press Ctrl T there and then I can select the font size, but here I'm not sure if I want to do that. I, I could at least do those bindings that I already did it for the changing of the columns and rows. Why is it locked? It's locked for some reason. Well, it's no longer locked. So, for changing the font, uh, Screen size. I have these binding Shift F1, Shift F2, 2, 3, and 4. And these are decrease rows, increase rows, decrease columns, and increase columns. Those bindings I will do there. And I have to think about how to do the font size. This is from one must fall. It's a little bit on the quiet side. Well, I have to check these bindings first before I go forward. Six by nine. Yes, Elijah, you are most likely absolutely correct. Let me check. This program, yes, that is absolutely right. So here I used 6x9 font, yes, and also I used this DOS font here. It's a little bit smaller again. Let's resize it so you can actually see. Yeah, so this is 6x9, that's what I did there. Um, yeah. So these bindings, let's verify first that they are properly. Defined DOS editor 32 bit and A. Uh, 
was shift F1. No, it was just F1. F1 and F2 and F3 and F4. Yes, that is correct. So let's scratch that. And also on the background you can maybe sometimes hear a fly buzzing. That is not because I have flies here, I don't. It is this background animation here, which this time happens to include sound effects for some reason. So. so let's decrease the font size and thinness. How does work your notebook with a custom ThinkPad BIOS ROM? It works just fine. Have you finished Talos Principle? Yes, I have inside out. All, sig all sigils and things like that. And some exploration of with no clip and and even this background sheen is constructed with no clip. So changing the first terminal size. Screen.hh. So I have to change these, I believe. Let me check if I can just do it trivially like this. And then reinitialize the graphics windows window. do that and also I need to disable this handling this when that is being used. Should I use a go to here or should I use an ugly boolean flag? Break. Process is true and break. Like this maybe, and because this goes out uh, out of the window boundaries, and I don't want to make this window wider, um, uh, I'm going to change this into. Well, does, that doesn't really help. So that can be like that. So let's see how that works. Hello, Chinese person. So F1, okay, scaling, maybe, let's do like this. Change these into Processed, no, resized. Yes, the re initialize. And I need to do, do the scaling here and probably do it with the same scaling size as I did earlier, which is Scaling. Where do I do the scaling? Because when I reinitialized that, oh, okay, I found it right here. I want to keep the same scaling, at least for now. So that seems to work. That didn't seem to work. So. I need to actually inform this screen class that the screen has been resized. Let me 
me do it a bit differently. Let me make here a method for resizing the resize. So like this. So this will receive the new window size. Did you also play the DLC for Talos Principle? I began playing a bit, but I have not finished it yet. For some reason I lost interest in that. Not sure why. Where is this horrible song? Let's implement that resize method. The reason why I need the resize method is because there's an array here of the cells and its size must match these. So resizing that array must be done. It is the most simple way to do like this. It is initialized with the blank cell and then copy the old contents into it. Y is zero into whatever is smaller Y size and a new size. And also just make sure that this doesn't get cal calculated many times. So, and do the same here with the X size. And then that should do it. And of course, after that, I have to copy the variables into these. When are you gonna do making this game? Making what game? this. Why is I is there? What are you doing here, mate? We don't understand what you're do what are you doing. So I am doing a terminal emulator. Read the Wikipedia article for terminal emulator if you don't know what that means. Cells X plus Y times, no, actually new cells, new size is copy from old cell number Y size, and that should do it. I believe that will work. Well, it would if I didn't typo this. Much better. Now we have a decision to make. Do I stay or watch and watch Biscuit or head over to something else in 30 minutes? Yeah, I guess you have to decide on that. So, that didn't totally work at all. What went wrong? What went wrong? Yourselves. This went wrong. Are you a fan of Valgrind to find bugs? Yes, I do like it, although lately I do like sanitize address compiler flag more. Now, F1, that works, and then F3, 
Yes. It doesn't redraw this window because I am not sending the SIGWINCH uh, events signals yet. Is it working? Yeah. Yeah. So that is something I have to do, but that part still works now, so it's progress. How long did it take for you to get this good at C++? Uh, no idea. I have been programming in C++ for like... Uh, calculating, calculating, calculating. Um, roughly... Roughly 20 years. So... I'm always improving. So I'm not at a plateau right now, so... You are asking how long I have been programming, so that's your answer. What does the terminal emulator help with? Video production. What window manager are you using? Already answered, and again popcorn. Did you manually manage the control characters? Yes, I did. That's what I did in part one. Although I didn't actually do it fully in part one because I copied code that I had already already made before, but all of this code that was dealt with in part one, that is what does the control character handling. Like here, character number 13 is sets the cursor position to column zero. That kind of thing is a color. Character number 8 is backspace, so it decreases the cursor position by one. And tabulators and so on. So, window events, sequinch. I probably also already have a code that deals with sequinch somewhere, so let me find it. Sequinch. There we go. Text box term. Sequinch. No, this is actually handling received signals. What was this pro process project again? Text box. Oh yeah, this is one of my older terminal emulators. So not the first time I do terminal emulators, but with sequinch. I have to figure out how to send it. Sequinch. Signal. Raise. Found it. Sequinch. But that also... No, that's also not. I have to kill the sub-process with that signal. That is probably what I have to do. Do you have any tips for people who want to start learning C++? Start learning it. Well, sorry, I do have maybe better instructions for you, but that is too long to answer here. Tell us principle background, yes. Kill, yes, that's what I said, kill. So... Fork PTY, I have to... I have here a method which kills using that signal, int signal. And I'm using that as TTY. So kill sequinch. And then add the kill method in this for PTY. Should probably be in capital letters because I am using capital letters elsewhere here, so I should probably do that. And the PID is that seems to be a little bit trivial. Let's see if that works. Hello, Freum. C++ 
to resize the window. Nope, didn't work. Why though? Why does it not work? My own editor also. Skill pity signal. Let me verify with the S strays to see what happens. Deprecated option. So Let's change the window size. And that should be all. And then check the log. Cool. It was received properly. And who received it? Sequinch. They received it. And uh, this pit is what? This pit is what? It's bash. So I think the supper process started by started by Bash didn't receive it. Hmm. What about code a video game emulator? What would a video game emulator do? I wish Biscuit created a similar level, level of tutorial for the Ready Engine game engines. Similar as to what? Do not speak Russian here. What is the most important thing in the software field? Algorithm or experience or language? Willingness to learn, I believe. What do you think about Vim Editor? Have you tried to use it? Yes, I know enough of Vim to know how to exit it. Bit early to ask about this, but will there be image support? No, there will not. This is not Temple OS. So why is the signal not getting delivered to the child process? Or is it actually? I have to check whether I just missed something. A sick winch. receive it. So Joe does set the signal handler for, for sick winch. Uh. Hello Gerben Vin Vin for a bag of for a bag of popcorn. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think I have to set the process group or something. I have to Google that. So let's bring up the Google Google. Sequinch trial progress processes setting. Oh send away the sequinch from the keyboard. What terminal related signal handling? I need something that is more focused on the topic. Resizing terminal does not register with Bash. Oh, let me see, see about that. Kill. Oh, 
Let me check without child processes first. CPP does not have better memory management than C, do you agree? Um, that is kind of a loaded question. C++, C++ has better handling of responsibilities and resource uh, cleanup than C. It's possible to do it also in C, but you have to do everything manually, and it's so, so easy to make mistakes with that. C++ just makes it so much easier and less work. How does your process tree look like when this is running? It looks like this. No, that's not right. There we go. Here we have it. External bash, all bash. But that's not what I, what I was going to do. I was going to do. So now this works properly, but if I resize the window, it still works. So Bash receives that signal properly, and it works. But kill minus one. I have to test that. Let me check this kill. Minus one. The signal is sent to every process for which the calling process has permission to send signals. No, that is not a good idea. If you run it with root permissions, that is not going to work, but let's try it zero. Kinda sounds like a wrong idea, but let me see that anyway. So let's try zero here instead. Because if you have multiple terminals simultaneously in this same process, then uh, it might not work. So let's see. Nope, that didn't work. Did it actually recompile that module? Because I don't have the dependencies set here plot properly. I should probably maybe set the dependencies right now, because I know how to do that. I know where it is. It is in this project where I can copy and add this into compilation flags and create a direction of dips now, when I compile this, it should automatically build the dependency files where possible. So from now it should work. Have you ever considered coding in C Sharp? Yes and no. The fact that it is a Microsoft thing uh, puts me away from it. Haven't had a really good reason to use C Sharp, so haven't used it therefore. But it is. I am not. I am not uh, negative towards it, like like I am maybe towards Java. So minus one plus one still doesn't work. So it was not a dependency issue. So what could be causing it? So these are dependency files and now they are getting all the get generated. I should probably do in this add, pref add prefix macro should do something to convert these slashes into underlines or something, but 
that is for later. Also, I should decrease this music volume here so I'm not screaming at you all the time because these are so loud. So, why is it not working? Disabling delivery or So this is about bash, so it's also good. So I think just pseudo TT wise, let me see. Which that formatting is so broken here. Pop it in my chest. This is not much better. Do I really have to read this? Also, I should probably make that sticky. It's always on top. Sigwin Chandler. Never received. But this is on Lucina Handler has asked for second winch propagation. I have control. If propagate. If not get them with use propagate. Where does the propagation happen? Like here. Oh yes, I am sending the signal, but it doesn't actually know what the new size is, so just sending the signal is not enough, of course, because the child program has no way of knowing what the new size of the terminal is, so I have to do this. But let me see again where I have used it before. There I have used it before. There we have it. So it should work like this. Excise and uh, this is totally the wrong method for it. So let me keep that just for legacy reasons. But I actually need if you were resize. Like this, Y size. And then the file description is already correct. I need that resize method also for the prototype in here. And then call it. Remove that and do the resizing instead. Hyvä iltaa asiapina. Where did it go? Over here. So now let's see what happens. Change the size. Oh yes, now it works. Yes. Very good. Then changing the font size is the next one. So they could prop probably use the same controls. Is it open box? Is it is what open box? Font size. Where did I have the font size? I have it here. Well, this is for the Y size. 
just have to think about that. At least for the white horizontal size. Hold the hell. I have to think about this because I do not have all the font sizes. I have a, this list of sizes. So. Let me see actually what happens if I do. I do not measure typing speed in this unit because it is a silly stupid method measure that tells nothing to nobody. So font size. I wanted to do. All of so seems to crash. Uh, why is that? Because I'm not resizing the pixel buffer, I believe. Is that it? the code engine for a classic video console like this. Uh, that is an interesting project, I have to say, but it is also really a lot of work. Let me check that I haven't missed any super chats. No, I haven't. So actually that font size that is wider than it's like 16 by 32 doesn't work here. That is inconvenient. But, but what actually caused the crash here? If I decrease the font size a little bit, like this. is 13 and it doesn't exist 12 11 yeah it's rendering somewhere but or maybe it's nowhere so this is 10 9 8 8 and 7 7 and 6 don't exist 7 8 and if I increase the size now I was unable to duplicate the crash I didn't know what did it. Stream Labs as a backup. That's all right, Commandy Man. I like the way you miserably beat in your keyboard. Privet, but do not use Russian here, please. another popcorn song. So that crash I just saw is kind of annoying me. What happens if I resize this window? And then change the font size. Okay, it resets the resizing. Uh, 
and still no Russian place. So I should probably make it choose the closest available font size in that case. I can work with that limitation, it's no problem, but it would be nicer if it, if it worked uh, in a consistent way. Or otherwise it could be maybe resizing the font or something. I don't know. Well, for now that actually fulfills what I wanted it to do, so Maybe I will leave it like that for now. So what did I do here? Make file, I added auto dependencies, dependencies. And in here I added support for, for terminal resizing. The next style renderings, italic bold underline etc. Let's do those next. This is probably my favorite part. Maybe because Xterm doesn't do those. So bold and dim. Dim and uh, what kind of dim flag did I have here? Dim and uh, I would like to have an intensity mode here also. Check TTY rendering. How many terahertz does your brain run on? It is not clocked. It's, it's a clockless system. You know, like in Linux kernel, you can have the system tickless. <laughs> this is funny mod. Did I actually modify this mod? Let me check. What is... Okay, this is the unmodified version, so I'm not playing that. But let me see about the... This is a modif modified version, so this I can play. No Russian, please. Do you use the mouse at all to go back and forth between lines with, within the code editor? No, because if I click somewhere with my mouse, of course this mouse cursor is too small for you to see, but in any case, it doesn't move my cursor. I can only move the cursor with keyboard. But anyway, it's a high intensity mode. This song is of course what is love, but it is modified by me enough that it is it should not be triggering any copyright problems. So the problem with Russian is that this is an English language stream, an English language chat. So if you speak something that is not English, then you are excluding everyone who doesn't speak whatever language you use, including whether that is Russian or whether that is like uh, whatever that was, Hungarian or Turkish. Intensity. Dim, 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 dim. Over here. So I'm actually using bold for that. It should not be bold. It should actually be rendering the screen. Underline 2. That is actually there. So. Intense. Chat session here on YouTube. Lot of doubts. What kind of doubts are you talking about? Dim. So bold is not that.
Where is bold actually said? Bold is something else. Oh, it ended that mod. So. Hello, bonjour, ni hao, konnichiwa, guten tag, hola. That much I can approve. Bold. So that was intensity. Intensity flag. Also, I don't like this copy in here. Also, I hate this mod. I should maybe delete it sometime. Actually, no, I should just put the user in timeout. Intensity. Intensity. Over here, yes, found it. That is intensity. And uh, this should be bold and not intensity. to do these backup things if I uh, put all these in the in some kind of structure. Good design for that later. Bold space. Bold. We don't already have bold. Yes, I did. Bold. Bold is. Like so. Bold. Intensity. So this should be bold, but not intensity. Number two should be setting the bold off, I think. Uh, let me check. MSI escape code. Have you ever linked assembly with C++ for extra speed? Yes, I have not much lately because compilers are so good today, but we have a Faint decreased intensity, okay? So it doesn't cancel the bold, I think. Or bold off. Bold off. Hold on. Norm, of course. So 22 should be removing bold and. Twenty-one should not be doing that. Twenty-one, twenty-two should be doing that, and uh, that, and twenty-one should be doing double underline. Underline is there. We go. Underline is there. I probably don't need to have those settings both on simultaneously, so I don't mind this one. Yes. Intensity is something else than bold, absolutely, yes. What is the difference between bold and intense? That is a good question. Let me show you. Uh, uh, 
there a light fade or something? Okay, this is not the best terminal to showcase this. Because this terminal doesn't actually render a difference here. Do I actually have a one with other settings for this? here because I also use bold font there. You have it here. Uh, medium. Large. Okay, this could work. And this doesn't do it either. Well, foiled there. The difference is that bold is supposed to make fat font and Intel is supposed to make bright font, but those are so often aliased. Please don't do turkeys here either. This is an interesting song. Do you have an LX terminal installed? Uh, looks like I do. Okay, there you can actually see the difference. Hold on, let me zoom that. Okay, there we go. You can maybe see that. So that is the difference. Bold is bold and intense is just brighter. Thanks for the tip of using LX Terminal for that. So I have to resize the window again. This is not pure C, this is pure C++. What's the diagonal of your monitor? That much. Did I add it there? I added underline 2. Where are the other settings that I was going to do? Double underline blink framed. Framed is specified in this article. Nobody does use it, I believe, but. Uh, framed, encircled, overlined. Overlined. I want to use overlined. That is a strike over, I believe. Do you have support for it in next term? Overlined 53. No, I don't. X term doesn't support that either. Yeah, it's kind of impossible to see gorge from that. How <laughs> big the screen is. <sighs> so, so now that I have read all those settings that I possibly want to do, overstrike. Yeah, overstrike is here. Italic is also missing. So italic I want to do also. So italic is going to be. Italic is that and uh, so what is italic actually? Italic is three. And italic off is uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three also sets Fracture of, but I'm not using that. Uh, zero is it also 
Hvor er det, at du er på os? Italic and bold. We said all those. Hold on. Where was that? Uh, command demand that just detects whether you are using Unicode characters. And that's kind of not the same thing. Do you have any thoughts about modules, concepts, executors, or STDNet for C++ 2x? I may make a separate video about C++ 2x features at some point. I am quite, quite excited to see all the things that are going to be added there, but it is still in flux. Hyvä iltaa, Smau. Can you speak Swedish? Jakan inte tala svenska. Italic bold. Yes, I am already doing those, so I don't need to add anything here. So I'm just, I can just move straight ahead into rendering. But something is missing here. And it's under my bold dim intentions. Intentions. So if I do have dim and not intents, else if I do have intents and not dim, yeah. How to make colors dim and how to make them intense? Oh, that is a good question. What are you doing exactly? I am doing a terminal emulator. Make a dim. Maybe I will just multiply all those components individually and... Yeah, that could work. Also, I will mean, need a method that... decomposes... Can I use STD Vala array here? No, probably not a good idea. HSL. Blah, too much work. I want a STD double. No, I won't. No, I don't want. So STD array should do just fine. Twenty-four, twenty, sixteen. That will do. That will do. Unpacking. And then do repacking. component and that is for second component and this is for third component. That will do. Make deep. Let's try that. Same with the intense method. Just multiply by two. Intense. Where did I do something wrong? Did not rendering this. 
code. Yeah, it's not there because it should be sill. Sill. Sill, sill. That does it. And also I should deal with these warnings at some time. So now high intensity and they should be handled, although they are probably already handled, so that was not actually the problem. Yeah, Dim is actually handled now. Although it is dimmer than the next term. Much dimmer. Maybe I don't want that dim. This song is quite kinda of loud. Make it a little bit less loud and probably the next one will be too quiet. Something like that. So let's see. Is it any better? Close enough. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That is close enough. Better than I expected, actually. Then underline. This is going to be the interesting one. Because the underline can actually fall outside of the cell boundaries. line position. Hmm. If there's one underline, it should be in the bottom row, bottom most. And if there's two, they should probably be like that. Y coordinate for font rollies. Which color should did you actually use for the underline? In that editor I used for the underline I used Hello Night Tech, which font uh, which color did I use for underline there? VGA How, much, how long have I been streaming? I have been streaming a little bit more than one hour right now, just checking. So underline. I used color number 8 there. line version then yeah that might work except it's the variable name is different underline one yeah it's just underline so what is this song I notice you enjoy some small lines of code that do wonder. Over here is one of my favorite. 
let me see your father. Where is your father? Okay. Surrounded by its own source code. Okay, I see. Is this Veeman? No, it's not. Underline did not work. And the chances why underline did not work is because Joe does not support it. That is more likely that likely than it's not missing. It's than that words. Uh, that, uh, that my terminal is buggy. Underline, so it's number four. So extern actually does support underline. And my terminal. Echo. Oh. My terminal also does support on the line, yes. What music is this? This music is one uh, one two eight state dot mod. Top ten computer science books. Ask some someone who reads books, I don't. Sorry. So the reason why underlines were not visible here is not because my terminal doesn't support them, it's because Joe doesn't support them. Why are your functions always that long? Because there's lots to do. So underline actually works. I have to figure out why Joe doesn't support it. Then I need italic. How do I do? Let me let me tackle bold first. How did I do it in that editor? Bold. Oh, I used to this kind of thing. Ah, I may need to do something like that also here. Code generation. Flag dim, flag bold, flag italic. Oh. This was a really optimal way to do it, but what did I generate the table with? I generated that table with. Make dim table. Yes. This is what I generated it with. Ah. Coding video from the nineties. You should be concerned, but there's a laser thing behind you. You should be careful. Thanks for the warning. It's benign. It's pointing at something else. This nasty thing from ancient Babylonia. Do I want to use this table that I already generated before? This is live, Sakmanaki, this is this is live. Do I want to use this? Save some effort. Dim bold italic. I probably should use that. Yeah. More copy-based coding, but when I have already solved the problem problem earlier ones, I should probably not try to solve it so many times again. So let 
Okay, copy that table here. And Do you play any video games? Sometimes I do. This shirt t-shirt is from Enterprise Bridge. <laughs> no. no, it's not. I chose this color for the shirt because it's uh, it has a good contrast with the wall behind me, so it doesn't get keyed out. If I use a blue shirt here or maybe even green, it at least under some earlier settings of my chroma screen, it could be could be getting keyed out, but this red one never does. Although the color settings in this stream are not quite as good as, as they were been before. Let me compare. So the previous stream was in like this one, I believe. This is the previous one. Hold on, let me put it here in the same one. And here, compare. Can I put it like here? Can I... This is going to be looking so confusing, but let me just, just check and verify. Okay, it's, it's very close. This is maybe a little has little less little less contrast than the last time. It's always so difficult to get the colors right. Do you record a video when you coding a ransomware? I didn't do that sort sort of thing. Copy paste and undo are the best thing is ever intended. I'm not going to argue against you there. So intense I will need, but dim I will actually not need. Pause. Because dim is going to be handled by this table. And I have to check that my previous code again because I'm using this kind of expression here. Just no. Do I use it for every single pixel? No, I use it for every line. So every line... Like that. A flag dim. Except I do need it for each cell because the... Uh, like here maybe because... The cell flags are different for each one. Cell flag and metallic. Purple motion. Why don't you use Vim slash Emacs? Why would I mode? Colors. Okay, I see. So I use. I need four colors. So. Uh, the background and. Uh, Something and something and foreground. Mix one three and mix two three. Mix one two. Yes. Color 
one and the Chrome two. Sorry, I'm silent when I'm concentrating. Command one. These on the pad. Command two. what's going on here so I have this table for four pixels at the same time where can I find your music list that is a frequently asked question you can find it in board mod archive at what point are you exactly but wait for link your brain to your computer to reduce input latency. Uh, that is a difficult question actually. The answer is a definite maybe. Font. How did I construct a wide font variable? I did it like that. Font. Where did I calculate the font? Font is from here. Flag. So that should be Italic, and this is font rows and font number of rows, probably like that. This is an interesting song. And 
I wonder whether this is one of those copyright missile targets. Well, that remains to be seen. This will probably do not what I want, but... I will want to test whether I'm totally off the track or not. Beat. Beat, beat, beat. Where was it? It was here. This song might get flagged. Do you recognize this song? Do you need such a powerful computer or this or this is just for fun? That is uh well it is nice if encoding videos goes fast. Jogger, really. It's not like I haven't featured this song before, but we will have to see. If I if I get the copyright missile, I'll just have to encode this video offline again. Zulu by Michael Jackson. Is that a thing? So where I am, am I missing? Here I am missing that. Okay, so it's in the verse. So dim works like that. I have to fix that in verse first. So dim inverse. Do you make 100k a year? No, I don't. No, we're close that. Okay, so demo works now like, like I was planning it to. And how about bold? I didn't do bold yet, did I? Yes, I did. So bold actually does work. Bold, and this is maybe intense. And uh, let's add another test. So, both bold and intense. Yes. So, here we have intense, and here we have intense bold. Kind of curiously, this actually looks less intense than this one because of the shadow. Really interesting. Is that actually supposed to happen? Or is it the bug? No Russian text, please. So let's add Italic also there. So now I have these on separate lines. Like inverse is actually not working right because this is supposed to be in the inverse. So, Vitalik was free. Vitalik? So no Russian, please. So this is Italic and bold. And this is Italic, and this is maybe Italic and intense. And this is both bold and intense, and also Italic. 
so it looks like I, this is actually working. Hooray for copy-paste coding! And this is also pixelated, and that is not by accident, and this is also somewhat outside the window. So yeah, I think this will do it. The underlines are not what I want them to be yet, but now I would like Joe to support all these markups mark because my colors file for Joe does actually have a things like italic here. Italic, where do I use it? Comment, comment italic. Yes, I do use italic for comments and it is not supported here yet. So that will be probably until next time because I have now accomplished this, although it's not perfect yet, because if I change the font size like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nothing happened. Huh. Why? Wrong window. Let's try that again. 1, 2, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's do that script. That is all right, but if I add underline, underline was uh, and si escape code, and si escape code underline. One question for you all, don't give copies, Biscuit. If you only want to increment a variable, Bish. What? Don't give copies, Biscuit. If you only want to increment a variable, which is... Parse error. Which one is more efficient, C++ or C? It depends on the variable type. I find it good practice to do free increment. So underline is 4. destroy underline support. Screen. Oh. Why? Does it work in external? Yes, it does. Yes, this song is great. What's going on? Is your experience with C slash C++? C, one, uh, one number reading and C++ another number reading. For C++ it's like 20 years and for C it's a couple of years more than that. C 
seems to be right. But why? to do it in the black one they just tried it. So why does this window always pop in the background? So anyway when I put it in the background it worked. Yeah. Okay so, so that seems alright and then when I decrease one two three four five six seven eight it still renders properly. But do I want it like that or do I want it one line before that, below that? Not sure. Ten pixels, it's in ten pixel font it goes into the lines. Twelve it's outside and in others it's always outside. So, in any case, I think I have accomplished this part and this part in this stream, as I set out to do. And I also did double underline, which I never tested. Let me test that also. Double underline, which was 21. Let's check whether XTERM supports it. XTERM does support it oddly enough. And my program also does support it, so that also works. Double underline. XTERM has a different interpretation for it then. My program doesn't matter. So, maybe third or fourth time, I set out to do things and I have accomplished them, and this seems like a good time to end today's stream and uh, submit this stream to the whims of copyright missiles and torpedoes and things like that. Wasn't this the issue with Joe Terminal not, not being able to show the underline? Yeah, Joe doesn't seem to support it for some reason. I don't know why. How do you say good night in Finnish? You say hyvä yötä. Hyvä yötä. That is good night in Finnish. Hyvä yötä. So, hyvä yötä kaikille. Good night. Thanks for watching. And the next stream. When will I stream the next time? Um, that is a good question. I am busy tomorrow. Busy probably on Friday. Busy probably on Saturday. It could be a week from now when I can stream the next time. But in the meantime, be sure to check my new community update on the community page here because you the audience members have a chance to const have a chance to participate in my video productions there is a task for you here so be sure to read this it is on the community page community tab on my page so check that out in any case Yeah, thank you all for watching, and uh, let's see if I can find the right button here. I can find it here. Yes, see you. Bye.